Hello everyone, today I'm going to walk you through how we are charging our 2018 uh, Tesla. It is the Model X with the 100D batteries. And I'm just going to show you real quick uh, a quick solution that we have found until we have our house wired with a new outlet for the Tesla. We have in addition to our Tesla charging cable is we have a 25 foot cable that is rated for 50 amps here's the cord that you would purchase here and then on the other end it looks like this except it's the male side of it and you can purchase a bunch of accessory adapters from Tesla it comes in a big pack and it has the like 10 different connections that you can that can be made but this here is a 50 amp connection um, this actually will regulate the amperage when you use your adapter piece so we're going to keep it 50 amps and we're going to go from this into the house but inside the house we have an older three prong outlet which i'll show you here in a couple minutes and it is also a 50 amp so when you're plugging into a 50 amp outlet, you can expect to get about 32 amps of charge, which will put you at about eight kilowatts an hour. And I can show you that inside the vehicle here, here as well, once I plug it all back in. So I just plugged the cable in and it's starting to charge. We're at 50% and it shows that it'll be seven hours and 20 minutes before we're at a full charge. And you can see it's currently at seven kilowatts. It does kick up to 32 amps and eight kilowatts, which will decrease the amount of charging time as well after it calibrates everything. So here's what we have inside. And I will unplug those and show you. So here's the cable coming from the Tesla. And then it is adapting to this cable. So this plugs right into there. And then we have a three-prong three cable here. This is a 50 amp uh, plug. This here was the most difficult part to find. I did have to order this online. No stores had it. You can go into your local store, uh, Home Depot or Lowe's and actually purchase both ends, this end and this piece here as well, and a piece of cable and adapt them. But this seemed a bit safer so this is the route we went and then it just plugs right into the wall there so eventually we will have a actual hookup outside for the vehicle that will not involve these adapter pieces a long time to figure out something that was going to work and be sufficient for us so just wanted to share with you guys exactly what's working and we've had great success with it so that if anyone else is in the same position that you'll be able to get a charge and not run into issues so you can see here we've been pulling this trailer it is about a two hour drive um, and we're still at 49 percent on this with a loaded trailer full of tools and flooring and stuff there you have it i hope this has been helpful please feel free to like and subscribe for future videos